related, R-I-P-T-E-N-S-I-T-E-Y, fast body weight workouts from men's health that are so intense, they rip away body fat. They work every muscle in your body. You'll burn a lot of calories and your heart rate will go sky high. It's certainly an amazing exercise to burn fat, but I personally believe there are 13 moves that are better for fat loss training, especially for men with some serious miles on their bodies. What do I mean by better? Well, the burpee is a really complex movement that combines a hip hinge plank, push up, squat, and jump. If you're not great at any one of those moves, whether it be due to a lack of strength, mobility, or motor control, then trust me when I say that your burpee will be even worse. There is a lot going on, more than is necessary to achieve the fat loss results you're looking for. I have three main criteria when selecting exercises for metabolic conditioning workouts. The moves must work most of your body, especially your shoulders and hips be as low impact and low skill as possible be safe to perform for higher reps and with shorter rest periods I like moves that are easier to perform, but still melt your face off. Here are 13 simpler and safer ways to burn fat than burpees, watch the video above to see how to do them. 1. Goblet Squat This is arguably the best way to squat, period. Front-loading the weight allows you to keep your trunk more upright. This takes stress off your spine and works your thighs more. Goblet squats are also safer to perform and more accessible than barbell squats, especially for higher rep fat loss training. All you need is a dumbbell, easier, or a kettlebell, harder. Just stand and sit tall and repeat. These are great for high reps and really tax your shoulders and core. One of my favorite ways to redline with this move is to do 10 reps per minute for 10 minutes straight while holding a weight that is at least half of your total body weight, too. Barbell Muscle Snatch or Dumbbell Muscle Snatch Olympic lifts train total body power and really hammer the highly metabolic muscles on the back side of your body. But they are very technical and hard to learn. Learn more, should you use Olympic lifts, except for the muscle snatch, this exercise, a modified version of the barbell snatch, is performed from a hang position with the bar at your near shin instead of on the floor. That decreases the range of motion and bypasses potential mobility problems, plus, by combining a high pull to overhead press, there is no catch, which is where most of the form issues manifest themselves. Finally, all you need to do is fully extend your ankles, knees, and hips and come to a full stand at the top of the move. Other Olympic variations require you to jump your feet out and squat down to catch the weight. This creates serious stability and mobility demands that you want to avoid when you're in a state of high fatigue. I like to do these with either a barbell or a pair of dumbbells. You may want to practice the move without load on the bar first to find your rhythm, then slowly load it up. Sets of 10 to 20 reps or work periods of 2 to 3 minutes are deadly to body fat. Dumbbell skier swing or alternating kettlebell swing The swing has been shown to improve fitness and help you lose fat as much as running does without all the joint stress that comes with pounding the pavement. Related, 10 exercises that burn more calories than running plus, it actually builds muscle, stimulates metabolism, and works the posterior chain. Most guys really need more meat on their back, hamstrings, and glutes, and the swing can deliver on that. If you're using dumbbells, I recommend the skier swing. It requires your feet to be closer together so that the weights don't hit your thighs. This, in turn, forces you to move more at the hips and less at the knees, which is what you want from a swing because it's an explosive hip hinge. If you're using kettlebells, I love the alternating hand swing. Moving from hand to hand allows you to swing more continuously and for longer, which is great for fat loss, plus, loading one side of your body at a time works your core more and unloads your spine. Many people who have back issues prefer this style of swinging because it allows for a slight degree of rotation that unloads your spine. My favorite swing workouts include, 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest intervals for 10 to 20 minutes heavy imam, every minute on the minute, do 10 reps per minute with a heavy weight for 10 to 30 minutes light imam do 20 reps per minute with a lighter weight for 10 to 30 minutes continuous 5 to 10 minute swings resting only as needed you can also plug this into a total body circuit as a hip dominant or cardio move 4. dumbbell farmers walk walking is one of the best ways to maintain a healthy body weight for the long haul and it's something you hope to be able to do until the day you die it provides a continuous low impact calorie burn and it doesn't require a lot of coaching now add some weight to that walk, and that bump in intensity will build muscle and burn fat everywhere. I like to alternate between two and one arm variations of the farmer's walk. However, I prefer the one arm option because you can work continuously by switching from hand to hand when you fatigue. Plus, it's better for strengthening your spinal and hip stabilizers. I also like to mix in level changes, going from overhead to chest level to hip level, which is in order of difficulty from a stability standpoint. Sets of one to two minutes at a time are great for fat loss. 
I'll even go for 10 minutes straight to finish off a workout, resting only when needed.